Good morning. Welcome. Our Johannan and his group, all seeking the Lord's will, our reading today takes us to Jeremiah chapter 42, verses 1 to 6. Now all the captains of the forces of Johanan, the son of Kareah, Jezaniah, the son of Hoshea, and all the people from the least to the greatest came near and said to Jeremiah the prophet, Please let our petition be acceptable to you and pray for us to the Lord your God for all this remnant, since we are left but a few of many, as you can see, that the Lord your God will show us the way in which we should walk and the thing we should do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said to them, I have heard. Indeed, I will pray to the Lord your God according to your words, and it shall be that whatever the Lord answers you, I will declare it to you. I will keep nothing back from you. So they said to Jeremiah, Let the Lord be a true and faithful witness between us, if we do not do according to everything which the Lord your God sends us by you. Whether it is pleasing or displeasing, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send you, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. Are Johanan and his group deeply seeking the Lord's will? Well, it, it sure sounds like it. Now, they've gone out of their way to inquire of the prophet Jeremiah, and they've come. It says, all the people from the least to the greatest. So, so there's a vast crowd there of all the people that are left in Jerusalem, and they're checking with Jeremiah the prophet. And Jeremiah promises them he will bring back a faithful word, whatever God says to them. Very good. Look at verses 5 and 6 again. Notice what we have here is their very solemn promise. They're going to do what, the, what God says, what God asks them to do. They're just going to do it. Sounds wonderful. Sounds spiritual. Sounds pious and right. So I like what they're saying here. I wish we all had this spirit, at least the spirit of their words. Time will tell. In a couple of mornings, we'll understand better, you know, how much their heart is, is in this. But right here, they sound pretty good. Would that all the Lord's people ought, at all times sound this right and be this right, seeking God's will and whatever it is, whether it's pleasing or displeasing, willing to do it. That's what will be a blessing to us, surely. When it comes down to it, many times our problem isn't our spiritual desire. Many times it's self-discipline. It's the follow-through. We want to do right, but we're fickle, and one day we want this, and one day we want that, and, and, and we, don't, we don't have the staying power because we, we haven't really developed in our life a course of self-discipline. We don't really know how to stay the course. We're jittery spiritually, and so a lot of times that's the problem. I hope that's not going to be the problem here in Jeremiah chapter 42, but time will tell, and it will tell pretty quick. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to have this kind of spiritual desire that's represented by these, these generous spiritual words. May that be true in, in myself and in my, the listeners. Lord, we pray that you will help your people to have the staying power that will somehow see that we need to be more self-disciplined if we're going to understand your will and follow it out. So we pray that would be true for the people in Jeremiah's day, and we pray that'll be true for us in our day. Help us, Lord, in spite of ourselves, help us to develop this, this kind of rigorous approach. We need it in a time when any which thing seems to be acceptable, and there's very little self-discipline. If we don't develop it in the easy way, I'm sure we'll have to develop it in a hard way. So be our helper, Lord, and teach us and bring us up higher. Bring us up a few notches higher, Lord. We thank you for hearing our request. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, as we said, everything here sounds good, but only time will tell. God be with you today as you serve the Lord Jesus in this seismically moving back and forth world.